I don't know if you heard the news, but Spoof Animator is broken. So I'm going to show you a quick replacement that you can use to spoof any animation that you would like for groups or your own personal use. So let's go ahead and hop in. So the first thing we're going to do, make sure you have all your animation set aside. I went ahead and grabbed something from Toolbox. This is a simple sword animation set for a number of animations that was already pre-created. The thing we want to access is the keyframe object, which is this diamond shape right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click that, save export, save the Roblox, and then select the creator. The creator is going to be either you or your group name or wherever you're going to be assigning the publishing rights to. And then you're going to save it. Then when after that's saved, you're just going to copy the ID over by clicking this square icon right here, close that, and then we're going to hop down here and create an animation object. Now I went ahead and set up the scripts for this and that's not part of this instruction right here. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to insert it into it. So you're going to click the animation object for the sword block that we just copied and assigned to us for the publishing. Go to animation ID for the property window and then we're going to select the asset ID, replace it with what we just copied, press enter, and now we're going to be able to actually use that in our game because that's going to be essentially our animation now. So when we click sword, now we can see that we have our sword animations available and we'll click Q, there it is. That is our block animation. That is exactly what we just spoofed right there. So if you like this short tutorial and this helped you out a lot with bypassing the currently down spoof animation plugin, which I believe I still have. No, I got rid of it because it's broken. So if that helped you out, just don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like more videos like this, don't forget to go to primalcam.com and leave me a message on what you would like to see in the next video. And I'll talk to you soon.